Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Um, in this video, you're gonna feature this one. This is the GNL Fullerton Deluxe Legacy.
So for the first look, this looks like a Mary Kay Stratocaster. You know? uh, this comes in with blonde finish. This is a blonde finish. You can see the swamp ash grain underneath the finish. Really nice. Um, features the CRF 100 and Eco 5 pickups for the neck, middle and bridge. Also features a dual fulcrum uh, tremolo arm, tremolo bridge, which is my favorite. Features also the PTB controls, volume, treble, bass. No, passive treble and bass control, five-way switch, right? Um, meter jumbo frets. This is a rock maple uh, neck as well as the rock maple uh, fretboard. Features a bone nut, right? This is a bone nut, and uh, the usual tuners from GNL, right? The fret radius is uh, nine and a half. Um, same as the the ones on the Blues Boys as well as the ones on my Comanche as well as the one on the S500 9.5 uh, These are my... F these are okay, I mean this is really comfortable for me because I would rather have a 7.25 but then you know I, I, I have to raise up the action a little bit before I fret up but a 9.5 is pretty nice, you know um, Other than that, you know you can see the uh, here you can see the block, uh, tremolo, tremolo bomb, uh, block. Has a bolt on neck, all right? 
really nice, really nice finish. All right, so what do I think about this guitar? How does it sound? The Anico uh, 5, the CLF 100 uh, single coil pickups are a little bit different from your normal uh, Strat, you know, Anico 5 uh, pickups. They have a little bit more of a mid-range, but yet you still have that nice timber of a Anico single coil pickup, unlike the MFDs. So these are pretty uh, powerful, they're not low output, they're pretty mid to high output, or mid output. Um, much higher than most uh, Renico 5 uh, single core pickups that you'll find in your normal Stratocaster. And I like the tone, the tone is really nice. Our guitar came in um, with strung to 09, so uh, when I first played, you know, I found that, um, well I just, you know, when I'm hearing it, I find that it's a bit too thin. Um, but after changing to 0 tens, it actually made a whole lot of difference. I guess these guitars are meant to be strung with 0 tens or higher. Um, but then again, you know, it's, it, it's no, there's no set rule because whatever turns you on or whatever suits your purpose or whatever uh, is comfortable for you because it's, there's no point stringing up to your 0 tens or 0 11 and finding it hard to play. So string to whatever gauge or strings that you're comfortable with. But for me, 0 tens really sound good on this guitar. And um, it just brings out the character of uh, how a strat would sound like. This, I'm telling you, this is like, uh, if if I haven't um, seen a, a Fender Stratocaster before, and if I've seen this, I would probably buy this because this is like a perfect strat for me. Some people might complain about the shape of the headstock and whatever it is, you know, some, uh, some guys are just pro Fender. And there are some guys who are just, you know, who, who who takes it as it is, like, you know, whatever works, works. So for me, this works, you know, this is like a, 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 an ideal Stratocaster for me because some of the Stratocasters that I played, um, um, I find that the pickups are a little bit too thin. Um, but then again, you can always do a whole lot of EQ and all that. But this sounds really good off the box and this is the only minimal EQ that I need to do with this. Yep. So. Tell me what you think. Do you own a Legacy? But this this is very different from the Legacy uh, Standard, uh, the Legacy Tribute. You know, I find that uh, I play all three. You know, uh, I actually did a review on the Standard as well as the ones from Tribute, the Indonesian made ones, and they feel a little bit different. Okay, this is a modern classic uh, neck. Um, the rest of the two are, I guess, the same. Um, there's one with the satin neck, if I'm mistaken, but uh, with the finishes and all that, this is the vintage finish, if I'm mistaken. Um, the playability, as well as the, f the total feel of it when you're playing it and when you're hearing through your ears, there is slight differences, because they're not all the same, you know, not all guitars are made the same, so there are slight differences. Um, coupled with the fact that this is a full deluxe, you can be rest assured that um, the workmanship, the finishes are there. Um, really nice tapered neck, you know, really comfortable neck. Yep. So, tell me what you think. And um, let me know in the comment section down below. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, join this channel. Alright. And I'll see you again in the next video. Ciao.